Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome to the fantasy match preview for the game between Punjab and Bangalore. Now before I get to the preview, keep in mind that this is the last few days, your last few chances to go and ace that leaderboard phase 3. So go make 25 teams now and get a chance to go all the way to Australia, watch the T20 World Cup finals live and yes, it's an all expense paid trip. And yet if you don't get into the top 3, there's nothing for you to feel sad about because there are a lot of other cash prizes to be won. So go make 25 teams now. So first up, the keepers and the batters for this game. I think you have some good options. Currently, I'm going with my first pick in Joss Butler, the most obvious one to start off with. Uh, can he be troubled by Rabada? Maybe he can. But totally depends on the pitch conditions that are on offer because if you feel that the pitch is a belter like it has been here, then it makes no sense at all to leave him. Second pick would be a pretty obvious one again in Sanju Samson. He's keeping, not Butler. So he's going to get you keeping points. Along with that, he can really get a hang of this middle order because we're seeing in Brabant there's not that much of turn and if it's flattish then he can really get into his zone. And the last pick is Johnny Besto. He opened in the last game which I think is a positive sign for me because if he continues to open then he's going to be dangerous like he was in the last few seasons. Apart from that, going with two batters. First one is Shikhar Dhawan. I think pretty obvious choice because he is settling in, he's taking his time and from a fantasy perspective, that's what you want for every from every batsman that they settle in, give you a good amount of base points and then give you boundary points too. So he's doing both. And similarly for Devdat Particle, he's known to take his time at the start and hence becomes a good second batting choice for us. Then we have the all-rounders and the bowlers. So I'm going with one all-rounder in the form of Liam Livingston. I don't think you have too many other options from this section. Ashwin is a decent choice but totally depends on the conditions. And 100% Liam Livingston is my captain in this game. Apart from that, going with five bowlers, Prasid Krishna and Yuzvendra Chahal from Rajasthan. Both of them have looked like Rajasthan's best bowlers by a distance. And Chahal has not been in the wickets in the last few games. So maybe that huge bag of wickets is coming soon. Apart from that, my other three bowlers from the other team are Steep Singh, Rahul Chair, and Kagizo Rabada. Rahul Chair did get injured in that last match, so do check if he's playing or not. If he bowls second, 100% in my team. Same reason for Arsteep, if he bowls first, he's 100% in my team. Maybe I keep both depending on the conditions, but if it's more batting friendly, one of them would switch out for an extra batter. And Rabada, like I mentioned, is going to be my vice captain for this game because he's getting you wickets at the start, he's getting you wickets at the death and if his team is collapsing, he's getting you runs at the end too. So you can't ask for too much more from a player and hence he becomes a really good choice. So finally, this is what the team looks like with three keepers, two batsmen, one all-rounder and five bowlers. Now let's look at your favourite section, the matchups. And now we have the matchup section from where you drop and pick your GL players. I think in matchups, along with dismissals and runs, a key point for you to see is that what strike rate is the batsman hitting those runs because if that strike rate is low means that matchup is dominating. And we have two interesting matchups with Shikhar Dhawan being dismissed thrice by Chahal and Ashwin. And against Ashwin, he's striking only at 90 and it's not like that sample size is lesser. It's about 90 plus balls and for Chahal at about 110 which means that they will try to strangle him quite a bit with that spin and he might succumb too so maybe that's a grand league drop for you apart from that there's one between mayank and chahal where the dismissals are a plenty but on the same end that strike rate is 150 plus so that will be a battle of attrition for you to watch out to especially because mayank is expected to bat in the middle order after the proceedings of the last game so these becomes your gl picks and drops and your matchup section and now we have the challenge picks where you can make your team with just two, three or four players and obviously this is only exclusively available on the fan to play app. So if you haven't downloaded it, go download it now. I'm going with three challenge picks in this game. Joss Butler, supremely obvious. Liam Livingston, a really good pick. He can give you crucial runs and maybe a few wickets too. And the last one is a left field pick in Johnny Besto. If you want, you can easily go safer with Rabada or Dhawan or the likes. So you two go make your picks now and join us on the Telegram channel for your final team, second innings updates and a lot of giveaway codes. Yup, all the good luck to you.